Hey, what's up guys? Lukabuki here with another TF2 video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be talking about the scout melee weapon, the Atomizer. The Atomizer was added back in the Uber update of 2011, and its stats haven't been changed once. It grants you a triple jump that costs you 10 health, in exchange for a 30% slower firing speed and a 20% damage penalty. The Atomizer is actually banned by just about every 6v6 league, including ESEA, but is allowed in most high leader leagues. So you might wonder why is this the case? After all, if it's overpowered, shouldn't it be banned in both 6s and Highlander? Well, if you're not into the competitive side of TF2, I'll explain how Scout works in Highlander. Literally, just about every Scout uses the Boston Basher or its reskin, the 3 Room Blade, since its self-damage ability is fantastic for building your medic's Uber charge. Because of this being very important for your team, the Atomizer is fairly rare to see in Highlander. In 6s, on the other hand, every single person on your team except the Medic is capable of building Uber Charge, and it therefore wouldn't hurt as much for one of your scouts, or possibly both of them, to use the Atomizer. Plus, Demo Man basically has his own Boston Badger now, since the half Sato Witchy now hurts you when it's put away. So, why is the Atomizer considered overpowered? Well, it all comes down to Scout vs. Soldier fights, and Demo vs. Scout fights to a slightly less extent. If the soldier you're fighting is using the stock, which he most likely will be in 6s, he's forced to bank on splash damage to take you out. When you're given the ability to do an additional jump, you're capable of staying in the air for a very long time, rendering the soldier's rocket launcher practically useless. If he's using the direct hit, it's obviously different, but the stock launcher is what's most commonly used in 6s. If you're fighting a pocket, he may have a shotgun he can use, but a scout will most likely be able to win this fight due to his mobility. It may also take too much time to switch to the shotgun in that situation if the scout is really good. In a scout vs scout fight, the triple jump is not going to help you, as all competitive scouts know that you shouldn't jump much in these scout battles, since it allows the enemy to shoot you with ease. You should be instead basically spamming A and D and just be focusing on your aim. It really all comes down to its over effectiveness for fighting enemy soldiers. There's really no way you could balance this weapon well, while keeping the triple jump in my opinion, unless it's given extreme penalties that would make it really stupid, so I think sadly it will always remain banned in 6s. Also, the swing speed and damage penalty really don't do anything, as when you play scout, you're never really going to use your melee weapon to attack people, at least not in a strict competitive setting, maybe on pubs if you choose to. But once again, I must stress that Casual Scout is quite different from Sixth Scout in several regards. I actually wouldn't say the Atomizer is overpowered really in pubs. In competitive play where you theoretically have a reliable medic on your team, the 10 health taken when you triple jump isn't really much since you'll most likely have overheal anyways. In pubs on the other hand, if your team has bad medic support, this damage can add up quickly and potentially hamper you quite a lot. It could possibly be better if it did slightly more damage to you on triple jump, like maybe 15 instead of 10, but I wouldn't really say it's overpowered in casual play. I myself don't really use it that much in casual play, since I like playing lobbies and whatnot and therefore shouldn't become used to triple jumping, and I also honestly like smacking people with my melee a lot, but I'd say if you're a scout who scarcely uses his melee weapon to hit enemies, the Atomizer is a great choice for you. Let me know what you guys think about the Atomizer in the comments below, if you generally agree with me or think I got something wrong, and maybe we can have a little debate. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe for more TF2 content like this, and check out the other videos in this series. Have an awesome rest of your day or night, everybody, and peace out.